Come out and play, yay. Warrior. And play a <laughs> John? Yeah. I think Nikki Rose is a god. I love that hair. I really want to see it because I keep hearing about it and I, I see the zine. Mm -hmm. And um, because Craig drops it off and it's really cool. And it's and I saw the painting he mm -hmm. did, and there's obviously a really strong following and devotion to this person. And, um, and I want to know what it's all about, you know? Mm -hmm. Nikki Rose at a party right on Alberta Street. And people were talking about, oh, did you see that video? That that strange hair metal guy, or did you see that? And they they're um, playing this video with the sound off with other music in the background. And I you know, I thought it was kind of funny and interesting, but I didn't really think much about it. Um and then um, next thing I know, um I went to my nephew Joel's house. He lived in the northwest part of the city. And on Friday nights, he would uh, throw um, Nikki Rose video parties. Well, I didn't attend any of the parties, but I was over there, and his friend Eddie, who is a guitar player and a rock and roller, um, said, oh, put that in, Joel. You know, and he, he, he played it, and Eddie knew all the lyrics. And he was saying that um, he was going to uh, uh, cover the songs in his band and put out an EP or something and I, and I started thinking wow if a artist you know a creative kind of people can dig him like this there, there's something to him you know, there's more to it than just you know some funny William Hung freak show or a dated tiny Tim you know 1920s initially I thought it was a joke somebody put it together one girl said it was her boyfriend like in high school I initially took it to give it to a friend of mine who I've known for seven years, and upon showing him, other people saw it, and uh, I mean, from there, it's just the reaction, and everybody wanted a copy of the tape. Um, the first time I heard about him was probably at a party with the sound down. We saw them and saw him on the TV, and we decided that he must be turned up louder because it just looked so awesome and weird, and we are just like, who is this man? So once we heard it, and we heard the lyrics, I think once we heard the lyrics, it, it's when we got really excited about it. Well, I guess I've, I've always been into hair metal, and uh, I've also uh, really been into odd people, and he was very odd. And I've watched it probably at least a hundred times. I mean, I've seen it on the big screen, I've seen it at different people's houses, I've you know, definitely showed it to a lot of people. I mean, I've had like, you know, 30, 40 people in my house, I would say, like just screaming, whopper, you know, laughing, and everything else is loving it, just watching it in my house. Love, sweet love, I found love. Yes, I did. La -de -da -de -de, la -de -da, I found love.
And what, what are you trying to do? Joel, Courtney, and I were um, talking about we got to figure out who, you know, what's going on. Where does this guy go? You know, because we do Google searches and nothing would come up. We'd ask people, you know, nothing. So um, we we said, uh, well, let's let's throw a dance. And so we organized a, a Nikki Rose dance in uh, retrospect on Alberta Street in Portland. And, and then we. Um, enlisted artists, you know, painters and f other photographers and stuff to, to do Nikki Rose art. So we'd have uh, an art show, uh, photography, painting, drawings, sculpture, and of course we had the Nikki video, that, and that was the highlight of the whole thing. And that was a big hit. Um, you know, people are still talking about it. To me, to see, I just, the way people are so bought into shit, and the way that people grab onto Nikki Rose and just um, either trip out on it or become obsessed with it, like a lot of my friends are obsessed with it, even people I just gave it to a month ago, that's all they'll talk to me about, even though I've known them for a long time. So it's like, you know, I've been playing that tape for people, like they always have something to say about Nikki Rose. I played in here, customers would flip out. People today still ask if they can rent it, if they can see the box for it, which there is no box for it, of course. Well, get me high, I'm gonna rock and roll till the day I die, I'm gonna rock, rock. I like the whole idea of passing it around and getting people interested that are really interested in it. You know, I mean, everybody's so interested in it without it being force-fed to them because it's actually good. victim of people liking his music, <laughs> you know. I think the really big news was when we heard that it was, that the tape was being used to open the CKY show, because this was, uh, our friend at the video store is friends with the CKY guys, and he had turned them onto the tape, and that was when the scope of it really started to get out of control, and I was like, this could really become a, a nationwide phenomenon. I think he already kind of has become a nationwide phenomenon. I mean, people always say, oh, that weird Warriors guy. I hear about people say, oh, I remember when he was on the cover of Living, you know. The cover of Living here in Portland, Oregon, is a pretty big deal, because there are so many weird artists around here, and Nikki Rose made the cover. Dave Mosca grew up with Darren Miller. Well, Dave um, moved to Portland and worked at Movie Madness, and he saw in the Nikki Rose video at Movie Madness. CKY had come to Portland, and uh, Dave gave him a copy of the tape. This was in uh, February of 2003 or something like that. And and so um, Darren Miller played it and loved it. And he, Darren starts breaking out with the intro to Warriors, you know. Warriors, come out and play. And didn't get any kind of response from the crowd. Um, they said, good, we're coming back and we're going to do more. And then in... Um, uh, Halloween, or on November 1st of 2003, uh, CKY played a concert in a place called Hellview in uh, Philadelphia. And they used the Nikki Rose video as their opening. People started throwing bottles on the stage, you know, going, who is this queer? And I'll get him off the stage. Um, and then they're going, CKY, CKY. Uh, and then uh, Felissa, um, 
uh, Darren's girlfriend called Dave, you know, at Movie Madness when the concert was going on. You know, he was working there, and she goes, Dave, um, Darren played the tape, and they hate Nikki. They hate Nikki in Philadelphia. Anyway, um, so the story was that, uh, you know, it was a bust. They, the CKY fans hated Nikki. Then a couple days later, you, know, you go onto their bulletin boards on the websites, and people are saying, "Wow, that was good stuff." You know, did anybody get any footage of that Vicky Vose or Nikki? You know, they they knew. You know, they were looking for stuff on Nikki Rose. And and now, if you go on there, a lot of a lot of people will say, "Well, that was the best opening act, Nikki, um, that CKY ever had." Through the death. The idea struck me. Well, let's have a Nikki Rose art walk on Alberta. Just, you know, be a found art object, fun sort of thing. Um, so we we did that. We got 10 or 12 businesses that were um, willing to exhibit one or two pieces of his art. We found several artists that um, did some fine art on Nikki Rose. They're gonna battle in the sky. It's amazing how much has come about because of this videotape, just artistically speaking. Yeah. But um, just someone who's so passionate about himself and his music on tape was amazing. So I would say that I've always been a misfit, and I think Nikki Rose probably feels the same way. I could identify with being like a really rare bird. Maybe I'll do like a mosaic mm -hmm. uh, portrait down the line. Maybe Nikki mm -hmm. could attend. That'd be, that would be great. The time is here. The earth has boiled to a point of no return. The time is here. The lamp is spoiled for his death. Your freedom. They're gonna battle in the sky Blaming lost souls of pride I mean, there's something really authentic about what he did. You know, it's like, even though people would might find it strange, it, 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 it just felt like he really was trying to do something there, you know? So, so it's, it's, it's cool that something like that could live on. You know? If you turn away, you'll be turned away. Only through his love is everlasting freedom. Only one can rule on your judgment day. A legion of angels pouring from the sky. The Vietnam was just a joke. Holy angels, the demon eyes. Who goes with the Holy Ghost? They're gonna battle in the sky. They're gonna battle in the sky Blaming lost souls of pride Yeah! This was part of the, the um, Nikki Rose art walk. Um, I was 
I helped organize it. I was the main organizer, but the co-main organizer was Carrie By. She's a artist living in Portland. I never meant to make you cry. She did the um, the first uh, fanzine, put it together. We kind of had a falling out. I was my fault, I, but um, I just got the urge to put out a second Z, Nikki's Way, number two. And I was, I think I, I was in San Francisco when I finished it and mailed it out. And it's it's been um, this this came out in July, and so um, we're up now we're up to issue five, the Winter Solstice issue. And it's usually 24 pages long. Six, eight and a half by eleven, both sides folded in half. And it's I, I encourage people to submit things. But what I usually do is uh, um, oh, like I'll take a, a business from Alberta Street, and I'll um, I'll make an ad for them, but I'll try to tie it in with Nikki or, or do something funny. ask him what the inspiration for all of his um, fashion would be, you know, like what, what, what he was striving for and, uh, you know, the look that he was going for. I think that'd be cool. I mean, it'd be better than Elvis coming back. <laughs> and we're looking for you, Nikki. If this is you, Nikki, please, please contact us as soon as possible. I really wouldn't know where to begin. I mean, the, a man like that has changed my life in so many ways. I mean, I'd, I would congratulate him, and uh, then I'd suck his cock until he came in my mouth. It'd be interesting if he'd come out of hiding and get back and um, do some music, but I, I, no, I don't know if it's more important, but I think it's just important that people use his example for creativity and get out and create on their own. Father's eyes. 